So in this quick tip, we're just going to take a look at how you can make customized placeholders for presentations, or you could do the same in pages as well and in numbers. So we're just going to go to the plus and we're going to go to our photos and we're just going to choose an image that we want to use as a placeholder. I simply place that on my screen, tap on the paintbrush, tap on image and choose set as placeholder. And now if I tap on that plus, it takes me straight to my camera roll and I can replace that picture with anything that I want to. Now if I want to customize that and it not be an image in the first place, I can use shapes. So I'm going to tap on shapes. I'm just going to design something now for myself. So let's just say I'm going to use, you know, I want something that's kind of this shape. And maybe I want to highlight to someone that I want this to be a place to put a photo. So if I go back into shapes and search, look for camera, take that shape, change its color. And you can spend a lot of time designing these, making them look really, really nice, put borders on, etc. So I'm just going to create that as one shape by selecting both and grouping them. Now this is a shape and is not a picture, so at this point I can't actually use it as a placeholder. So the quick tip here, slide up from the bottom, drag photos to the side so that I've got access to this. I'm going to tap and hold on that shape I've created and just drag it across to recents. And then do the opposite and take it back. And now what's happened is that has created it actually as an image. So now, if I just slide that to the side, I'm going to tap on that shape and tap on the paintbrush, I now have the option to set as a placeholder. So there we go, creating custom placeholders for any design work you're doing with your students.